another episode of Second Vermont brought to you by 7 Days. My name is Ava Solberger and we're here in downtown Burlington at Contois Auditorium for the 13th annual West African Dance and Drum Festival brought to you by Burlington's own Jay Khalil. There's African dance classes, drumming classes, teacher workshops, and tonight there is the big final show. Welcome home. <laughs> drumming here in Vermont. Not things that you would necessarily combine. Let's find out how this all happened. Oh, Arabagadi. You know, how you doing? White and black, mixed together. West, I've been to Guinea, I've been to Senegal, and people actually know Jay Kalu now. Right, and how did this ever happen in Vermont? Uh, a group of us went to Guinea, West Africa, and we um, met some people there that we ended up getting visas for. Jay, Jay Kalu that brought you here? Jay Kalu bring them away here. So we'll be together now 11 years and a half. And then because Jay Kulu's been growing and been getting stronger, you know, other artists have moved in and out of the community. Jay Kulu, I work with them. I play drum, singing, and sometimes dance. Vermont, so beautiful, you know. There's always new people coming in that are interested, and for some reason we have African dance in Vermont, which is very unique. Uh, I live in uh, Charlotte. Um, I like it a lot, and I definitely want to do it again. African dancing is very, very nice. For a second, I just didn't know what they were doing. It felt great. It exercise. Your body starts getting an energy out, the dancing, and everything. I think Burlington is the third longest running festival in all of the United States. That we bring in a lot of guest artists. Yeah, from Guinea, Senegal, Mali, Agricos. Different countries and different people dance different ways. It's just a great experience to have, even though we all from Africa. So it's something that's done in ritual and in communities and ceremonies. So it's more about feeling it. So more than anything, you don't have to think. You just got to turn it off and stay with the drums. It, it keeps you mentally and physically and spiritually pretty solid. Well, since I was young, I like to dance and I always get excited to dance. So. Really connected to, to who I am and to the world around me. This is my blood. I like it. My father, no one, my mom, no one, but me, I feel it, I want it. When I'm asleep, I'm dancing. So I like it, you know, I like it to do, that's my life. You know? Sure, like I'm obviously pretty well invested in the culture. I'm married to somebody from Senegal, so there's a very personal aspect to it for me. There is a community here of people I've been dancing with for years. <laughs> I've been doing it for a very long time, more than her. She's a new person. So how long is a long time? Are we talking months or are we talking years? Years. Since I was like a baby. Can I scooch by the no. movie here? You yeah. This is your second time. No. To be said, you have not known her. 